Hi everybody, we're going to do a little video demonstration today on how to set up a community sponsorship. Many of you might be interested in exactly how to get the most out of your community sponsorship, so we're going to take a look right now. I am logged in here on Active Rain as my son Kellen, so I'm going to go to Kellen's My Homepage. And from his My Homepage, on the left-hand side, you're going to see a little link for My Community Sponsorships. And if you're currently sponsoring a community on Active Rain, this link will be present on the left-hand side of your My Homepage. So let's go ahead and click on My Community Sponsorships. And we've got a few in here that I was messing around with earlier, but the one we're going to work on today is the Moose Den. And for those of you not familiar with the Moose Den, that is the place at Safeco Field where the Mariner Moose mascot hangs out during the game so kids can go get a chance to meet him. And the Moose Den is one of my son's favorite communities in Seattle. So let's take a look at his sponsorship of Moose Den. I'm going to go in here to the Moose Den. And you'll notice on the right-hand side, Kellen is currently the community sponsor. But he's not quite getting the most out of his sponsorship. And so we want to make sure that he gets everything in place so that he can get you know full use of his community sponsorship on Active Rain. And you'll notice on the left hand side here there's a, a post that I had Kellen write today. As you can see I made him write this post as an example for this video. But I just needed some piece of content here so you could get the full idea. So this is Kellen's post about his visit to the Moose Den and, and we'll use that as an example as we go through how to set up this particular community. So on the right hand side having done nothing at all but actually sponsoring the community. All you're going to see from Kellen is his picture here, his community sponsor. You're going to see his phone number, um, an ability for you to go back and view his complete profile on Active Rain, and then consumers will also see an ability to send Kellen an email directly. Let's jump back to the page we were on, which is our list of community sponsorships. And so there's two ways that you can access the page that allows you to update your community sponsorship. You can do it from right here where it says update, which will take us to this page. Or if we were to just go into the community, as long as we're logged in and we're on a community that we currently sponsor, we're going to see a little red link right here that says update community sponsorship. That's going to take us to the same place. So there's a few things as a part of the community sponsorship that you want to make sure you do. And there's basically three. The first one is gonna be this community blurb right here, which is basically a description of the community. And that will be a static description that remains at the top or near the top of the community page as other blog posts roll beneath that static description. A couple things about that description. I would encourage you to get the name of the community in the description. If your description is approaching 600 characters, try to get it in there twice. And that'll just be good for some, some good, strong keyword density on that page because, again, that will be a blurb that sticks at the top of that page no matter what the blog content is on that page. The second piece of the sponsorship is going to be the ability for Kellen to add a link to the Moose Den community page. And then the third piece will be an ability for him to upload a marquee photo. And I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial, too, on how to get your photos to the correct size and in this case if you look right here in the gray you'll see that size is 960 pixels wide by 440 pixels tall. Alright so let's do the blurb, the blurb first and I've got these things all pre-written out here on a little text file so I'm just going to hop over here and copy the blurb. I'm going to paste that blurb in and you'll notice in Kellen's description he uses moose den one time and you know if, like I said if he was getting closer to 600 characters I would encourage him to use the the keyword phrase for his community moose den in this case more than once at least twice for his link target I'm gonna jump over here and grab and I just did one to the Major League Baseball site for the Seattle Fan Fest that's coming up soon what you would want to do for your link destination or link URL here in this field is you would want to, we call it link target, you would want to make sure that that's a link back to 
your website where you're probably displaying homes in the community that you're sponsoring. A real good IDX provider will allow you to create a link you know, out of specific communities or homes for sale in specific communities. So in your case, you're, you're going to want that link going back to your website as close as you can get it to a page which actually is showing listings in that community. And then for his link name, this becomes the anchor text on the page. In this case, we went over here and we just have fun stuff to do with the kids at Safeco Field. So I'm going to fill that in as Kellen's link name. Yours is probably going to look something like homes for sale in the name of your community or maybe your community is like a lake community. You might have something like waterfront homes in, you know, waterfront homes in Wallingford, something like that. Whatever the name of your community is, you'll want to probably have that in your link text here. So the last little piece of our sponsorship is going to be the marquee photo. And so we know we want this photo to be 960 by 440. So let's take a look at what we have here. And I actually have a moose den photo. It's a picture of Kellen and me and the moose. And let's just see what happens when we, when we look at that photo. As I pull it back up, this is a huge photo. So let's take a look and see what happens when I go ahead and hit save changes. And that may take a minute. And while that's loading, I want to take you over here real quick. Oh, look at that. The photo isn't the right size. It must be 960 by 440. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that photo and we are going to make some changes to it on a website called picnic.com. And that's going to be P-I-C-N-I-K.com. I'm already logged into my picnic account and this is a free picnic account. They do have an upgraded one, but the one I'm going to show you is free and it's really easy to resize and crop your photos. So let's go in here and I'm going to upload a photo. And so I'm going to upload the moose den photo that, that we showed you a second ago and we tried to upload, but again, it was way too large for us to be able to upload to our community. So let's upload that to picnic and there you go. Picnic throws it in here and then it gives us a chance right here to resize the picture. And so what I'm going to suggest that you do is you're going to get the width dimension set first through the resize tool. And so we know this picture is 960 pixels wide, but right now it's showing up at 720 pixels tall. So we need to crop this image in order to get it to fit. So I'm just going to hit okay on the resize and then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to use the crop tool. So I'll just pull the edges out again to my 960 because that's what I had the width set at already. And I'm going to drill it down here until I get to 440. So now I have 960 by 440. Then I'll just take my cursor in the middle and I can pull it up and down until I get it right about where I want it. And so let's just put it right there at the moose's belt line. And so you'll see we're cropping off quite a bit of the image at the bottom and just a little bit of it at the top. But I want to make sure I get this picture of the moose's mom and dad in here, right? So I'm going to hit OK. So that's rescaled my picture to 960 by 440. So now let's go in here and hit save and share. And I'm just going to call this moose den cropped. And then we're going to save that photo and it'll give a chance for me to kind of tell it where I want to save it. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. So it'll, the, the gears are grinding. It went ahead and saved that photo. And now I can jump back here to my community and let's try this again. Now let's try to browse for that new moose den cropped image and you'll see here this one now is 960 by 440 so I'm gonna go ahead and hit open and then I'm just gonna hit save changes now let's see up oh, so there there we go so now moose den is ready to go there's one step that we have to take here at active rain is and that is reviewing the community sponsorship and so let's go over and look at that real quick and I'll show you a couple of the things that we're looking for when we do that. And so here's the page where I'm going to review the community sponsorships and look at this. There's a couple in here already. Let's see your photo is not rendering. That looks like somebody snuck in here. Wow. I had this all cleared out, so that one looks good. I'm just going to approve that real quick. 
here's Kellens. Okay, so you'll see the description in here. What we're looking for in the description field is that it's actually a description of the community. What, what we're not looking for is a bunch of sales pitch in the description because that stuff always remains in the community. We want it to just be a good idea of what the community actually is and is about. And so just kind of try to capture the essence of that community. I know it's tough in 600 characters, but I'm pretty sure you can do it. We'll look at the link. There's really not, I mean, the links can be commercial and be going back to your website. We encourage that. So there's not too much stuff that we're worried about here in the link. We'll test it real quick just to make sure, yeah, it does work. And in this case, boom, that, that link does work. So that's good. And then it, we have a program called 10i that actually searches the internet for this image. And so what it'll do is it'll go out there and say, is this image on any other sites? So make sure the images you're uploading, you have the rights to use. You know, if we find this image on, you know, somebody else's website or something like that, we're going to reject it. But, you know, we're smart enough to know if we go in there and we see that, you know, that it's, that it's out there one place, maybe I'll take a look at what that place is and we'll make sure that if it's your website, you know, chances are you've probably used that image on your website and then that's okay. So I'm gonna come in here and approve and as you saw me do earlier, if we reject one, we'll let you know why. So I'm gonna hit approve on that. Looks like we're all done reviewing community sponsorships. So let's go back over here. Let's just refresh Kellen's page. And now you'll see that, that Moose Den is in here. The description and the link are filled in and it shows the status as reviewed with a little green check mark meaning, yep, I made it. So now we can come back here and take a look at that community. And you will see that at the top is Kellen's marquee image here of us in the moose den. And then on the right hand side, you'll see his little link for fun stuff to do with the kids at Safeco Field. And right here at the top, you'll see this little blurb about the moose den. And that again, that blurb is going to be something that always kind of remains at the top of this page as other blog posts underneath it scroll off. So that was a real quick and easy look at how to get the most out of your community sponsorship. So you'll wanna make sure you get in there and do that. And again, your starting point will be from your My Homepage on the left-hand side, clicking My Community Sponsorships. Thanks everybody and stay tuned. We'll be doing a bunch more of these in the future.